Thank you, guys. My name's Shane. I have a girlfriend. Her name is Maggie. She's a wonderful girl. Uh, she calls me her angel because she doesn't believe in me. And uh, I... <laughs> Hey, she's always making me feel like less of a man, you know? And not just because she makes me pee sitting down, but um, she just, she hates my new sex move. It's called the reality. It's where right before I come, I try really hard not to come, and then I come anyways. Yeah. It's, it's called the reality. Some of you guys know it. Do you know if you have a kid today, it'll cost you at least a quarter of a million dollars to raise that child? At least a quarter of a million dollars. For a quarter of a million dollars, I can buy an adult and have them take care of me. That's a way better deal. <laughs> I'm broke, because uh, I'm uh, American and bad with money. I don't know if you've seen the news stories lately. Um, I saw one uh, recently. I was all excited. It was like, uh, top 10 signs the American economy is recovering. I was like, great news. Then I read it, and it goes, they picked like 10 of the most ridiculous things they could pick. They're like, well, first off, uh, during the recession, casinos, they're having a hard time. No one was gambling. No one was going to Vegas. And then last year, they had a 3% increase in business. So people are gambling again. That's good. <laughs> Also, Starbucks, they're having a hard time. Now they're making a comeback. People are buying $7 cups of coffee again. Hooray. <laughs> are those signs that the American economy is recovering or signs that America will just never learn its lesson, <laughs> no matter what happens? What other signs are you looking for? Oh, kidnapping's on the rise, <laughs> which means middle-aged men can afford candy again. This is wonderful news. <laughs> Reminds me of like summer 2008 in the US, uh, gas peaked at like 450 a gallon and truck and SUV sales, they just stopped. Uh, you couldn't get rid of one, nothing. And then a few months later, gas went back down to like $2 a gallon and people just started buying trucks and SUVs again. Because <laughs> Americans are just like, well, thank God that's never going to happen again. <laughs> America just behaves like a suicidal person. Like, oh yeah, I see the end coming. I'm just gonna spin, 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 have some fun with it. If I'm gonna go to the apocalypse, I'm gonna do it driving a Hummer, damn it. What am I gonna go into my Mad Max rolling gun battle driving a Prius? Where am I gonna put the gun turret? You know what I want? I want a gas powered gun that fires $100 bills that queers with a hole in the back so I can fuck it at the same time. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, what do you call that gun? I call it the American dream. <laughs> we, uh, we do have a serious problem in the US and no one really seems to be talking about it, but man, it is just way too hard to buy grenades. Oh, it's all these rules and regulations. You gotta get fingerprints, background checks, background checks. I'm not trying to do something serious, like get a job at a grocery store. I just want to buy a case of grenades to protect my home, damn it. <laughs> if grenades, if that sounds like a silly self-defense weapon to you guys, you'd be wrong. You think a gun is better? You're out of your mind. Some breaks into your house, what are you gonna do with a gun? You gotta go out there. <laughs> you gotta investigate. <laughs> you gotta find that person. You have to aim. <laughs> now you're in a shootout. Grenade, you just crack open that bedroom door a little bit, roll a grenade out there. <laughs> Even if it doesn't hit them, they're gonna leave. <laughs> just hope you don't have a dog that plays fetch. <laughs> they, uh, size 13 shoe, by the way. Let's just say I'm a little too big for my girlfriend, yeah. My foot barely fits in her vagina. <laughs> I like that expression, it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion in the ocean. Really? 
All right. If your penis to vagina ratio is boat to ocean, <laughs> you do not have a penis. I sometimes tell jokes that are offensive. I don't mean to offend anyone or whatever. It just happens sometimes. I just do what I think is funny. And it's understandable once in a while. Like, I have this joke, uh, my girlfriend has a bald vagina, which is one of the benefits of chemotherapy. Oh, yeah, really serious subject matter. Nothing to joke about. Yeah, I wish I never would have wrote that joke. Popped it in my head one day. I was like, oh, fuck, that's funny. Out of my hands after that. <laughs> This guy came up to me after the show was, he's like, my grandfather died of cancer. You're going to hell for your insensitive jokes. I was like, my grandfather went to hell, you insensitive asshole. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. You're a wonderful audience. I appreciate it. Thank you. I love women, man. I'm very particular about the girls I date. I only date really petite girls, because they only cost like six bucks to get them drunk. So fish think about nothing, 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 all the time, nothing. Maybe every once in a while they go, man, I'm wet and I don't have any arms.